If you've ever taken the CST, you know what a headache those things can be and how exhausting those are. Pardon me while I take a sip of my coffee, but hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you didn't already, I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about the top five things I hated about taking the CSTs. So the CSTs were probably like the Te the worst test on this planet. Oh, please excuse me, Humphrey's crying. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Humphrey wanted to come up and be in the video. He was crying because he wanted to know where I was. I'm here, buddy. Okay, so anyway. Um, today I'm going to talk about the top five things I did not like about this taking the CSTs. So I'm sure you guys don't know what the CST was, but I'm going to explain what it is. So the CST used to be the California State Test, and they used to have us do it from a book and on a sheet that we had to fill a little circle in. And that's how they did it when I was a kid. And then a couple years later, it got moved to a computer so this was kind of back when it was paper and pencil and that was kind of the only time we could do it when I was a kid because we didn't do a lot of things on pencil and a lot of stuff nowadays is done on a computer. So I'm going to get started talking about the CSTs and if you didn't see my two-in-one story time about the CSTs, I'll link it down below if you didn't see and here we go. So number one on my list was we weren't allowed to sit next to our friends. So the, during the CSTs, we weren't allowed to sit next to any of our friends. We had to be separated from all our friends, but which was a good thing because we weren't allowed to talk during the test because they went, didn't want us to give out the answers to each other just in case. And so we um, had to sit like at separate rows. Sometimes we'd secretly sit next to our friends and our teacher would put, them, put us next to our friends and we didn't realize it. But I was pretty good about not talking to my friend during the, friends during the CSTs and stuff, unlike other people and stuff in my class. There were some people that had to be really separated from their friends because they were just chatting away during the CSTs and stuff. So, so that's one thing I did not like about the CST was a lot of us weren't allowed to sit next to our friends, but we had to do it so we wouldn't. <laughs> Number two on my list was we had to have our desk in rows. So when I was in elementary school, we had to get our desks put in rows for the CST because we couldn't sit, um, have our desks in groups because that's how we usually would have our desk is we'd have our desk, desks in groups and we'd have usually five or six people in each group and we had to get our desk in straight rows and we and like I said we had to be separated from our friends but it was kind of a good thing so nobody would talk to their friends during a test. Number three on my list would have to be the rules were confusing. So when I took the CST the rules were very confusing to me. Like one year I had to go down past the stop sign. If you ever took the CST, you'll notice there is a sign that said stop next to like the bubbles and stuff. And um, one year I had to go past it. And then one year I had I couldn't go past it. It was just really weird. I mean, it's like, <coughs> excuse me. So every teacher I think that gave the CST was different. Like my teacher I had for my first time taking the CST he made me go past the stop sign and then my second, um, the librarian who I was doing a CST and T with, she didn't make me, she made me stop at the stop sign. I don't know, it's just the rules were so confusing. And if you didn't see my two in one confusing CST story, I will link that down below. Number four on my list would have to be the class schedule was confusing. So this was when I was in middle and high school. They would have the numbers all jumbled up. Like they'd have first period, last. They'd have 
fourth period last or something, whatever, this, the classes would just be completely jumbled up and we'd have a different class, like we'd have our classes like the next day. We didn't have them like all in one day like we normally would. So that's one thing that really confused me. I think it just took everybody so long to the CST that they would put, um, um, they would um, have us just do a couple classes so we weren't tired and stuff. So um, one year, one year I had to get the schedule from my um, English teacher every day and she'd write it on a piece of post-it note for me so I wouldn't get confused. He was because I would have the first period last, third period last or whatever. It's just, it got so jumbled up because I guess because everybody took so long doing the CSTs, we didn't have enough time to go to our classes in one day. But it was also kind of a good thing because I think everybody was kind of exhausted. Number five on my list would have to be we'd have to figure out which rooms we were in for the CST. This was really confusing. I mean, when I was in elementary school, we had to stay in our same classrooms. But then when I was in middle school, we had to figure out which teachers we had for the CST and which rooms we were going to be in for the CST. So it was super confusing because I had to kind of get it from another class and I couldn't figure it out. Uh, and I think they had it posted on the schedule in the middle school in well, the middle and high school I went to. So they would have which classes um, we would be going to for the CST and stuff. But I'd always get confused because sometimes it would change each year. Like I ha one year I had my math teacher for CST. One year I had to do it in the library. And then another year, oh, Humphrey, sorry. Another year I had to do it, um, I think I had to do it in my career class. I had my career teacher and then my junior, my freshman year, I think I did it in my um, math teacher I had's class. And then I think my junior year, I did it at the library. I don't remember where I did it, but it was just kind of like, oh, you're getting impatient. Sorry. I think um, it just, just changed every year. It was just really weird. So that's one thing I didn't like is it, the classrooms. Um, it was just confusing to figure out which classrooms I was in. So those are the top five things I hated about taking the CSTs featuring Humphrey. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And we'll see you in another video soon. Bye bye.